Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, somehow during the uh, movement control time, I am very much craving for dried fuzhu. And it is, I don't know why, the near where I stay, I just couldn't find it. And of course, I don't dare to go to the wet market. Uh, it doesn't seem very safe. So, um, uh, almost two months, I couldn't find it. So today, I actually was another place, so I, I managed to find some dried fuzhu. But the problem is, it is a brand that I've never used before. Now, uh, if, if you are also a uh, 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 dried fuzhu, dried bean curd lover like Appa, you will notice one thing. Uh, every time when you buy a different packing of dried fuzhu, it will take, uh, it will require different cooking time. And the cooking time can vary really a lot. From my personal experience, those uh, fresher ones that I used to buy from uh, directly from uh, the uh, wet market, those normally takes uh, cooking time will, let, will be less than 10 minutes, very fast. Um, but those from the supermarket or the, the normal shops will take minimum 20 minutes. And this one, uh, I bought it from a herbs, uh, herbal shops um, near OUG. And um, I have actually, uh, my mother-in-law helped me to uh, soak it under water for more than one hour actually. And it still doesn't become very extremely soft. So I will presume this one will take minimum 20 to 30 minutes to cook until it is edible okay so uh, you just have to test every time you this is why i, I try not to change the brand of the bean curd uh, dried bean curd if not uh, i have to uh, really go and ascertain again what is the uh, most optimum cooking time okay so today i'm still going to make a very simple way just braise it and i'm adding in some uh, shiitake mushroom soak okay beautiful shiitake mushroom and you want to remove the stem in the middle Usually, I'll just remove using a scissor. And you don't see any meat. Instead, I'm going to use this. This is the chicken stock. One bowl of chicken stock or pork broth up to you. And I'm going to put in a little bit of um, probably one teaspoon of uh, this is the uh, five spice powder. That's what I'm going to put very simple. And um, I'm going to use the uh, onion oil to start. Okay, if you're using stainless steel wok like Appa, always put oil in cold wok. Then only you raise the heat, okay? This will reduce the sticking problem. And also to protect your standard steel. Uh, anything braised, use onion oil. You can use the fresh onion oil also, no problem. Cut some, uh, cut off some uh, chopped red onion and fry it up, then only you continue. Okay, like you uh, you probably know, Appa always have ready-made onion oil and garlic oil at home. Anything braised, use onion oil. It goes very well. Mmm, fragrant. Okay, it's heat up. Put in the chicken stock, one bowl. Some hot water. The uh, mushroom water. I think we can have a bit more. Just enough to cover all the ingredients. Let's bring this to a boil. Then only we add the rest of the ingredient. Actually, we don't have to waste any time. Uh, while waiting for it to boil, we can actually uh, put in some light soya sauce. Now, when we say Chinese, when we say braise, we actually mean uh, light, uh, soya sauce, okay? So I'm going to give it uh, approximately, uh, probably two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Of course, you are seeing, uh, I don't really measure. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, if you want to play safe, you can just measure, right? And I'm, for the color, I'm going to give it a little bit of uh, dark soy sauce. And then some five spice powder. Actually, many people say Appa's dishes is very simple. 
to be very honest, anything complicated, Appa also don't know how to make. Okay, about one teaspoon of five spice powder. If you don't have five spice powder, you can put it in a cinnamon stick and start in this also, can also. Oops, I'm using spoon again. I know many people hated me using spoon. <laughs> Actually, using spoon to cook is fun. Okay. Some people ask me, why, Appa, why is it you use a uh, spoon to cook? Actually, no reason, because it's just very, uh, I just find it very easy, very convenient, that's all. Okay, so let's wait for this to uh, boil. Okay, it is not boiling, I'm telling you, even before I add anything else, it's already very fragrant. Why? Because, mainly because of the onion oil. The onion, onion oil really make wonders. Okay, before I put in the food, so I'm going to put one tablespoon of sugar inside. I'm going to put in the fuzhu. This fuzhu really feels very tough. And not forgetting the mushroom, or you can also put uh, potato. Sliced potato, up to you. There's no rules in our package. Just apply a little bit of uh, logic there, that's all. Okay, so we're going to oh, we want to bring this to a boil as well. The moment uh, you add in the ingredients, it will lower down the or uh, the the ingredient will actually lower down the heat of your wok. So you need to bring it out again. After you bring out, then then we can actually uh, start doing some simmering from there. Is it boiling? No, wait, just wait for a while. Alright, it has started to boil. What we do now is you cover with a lid, tune down to medium low or yeah, medium low better. And let it simmer for minimum 20 minutes. Like I said, it really depending on the kind of fuzhu that you are using. Some fuzhu, you cannot cook more than 10 minutes, it will melt. It will totally melt. So get, go and get to know your fuzhu, go and become friends for your, with your fuzhu so you know how much time you need to cook them. Okay, don't overcook your fuzhu. But this one I'm using, I know, I can feel, it's very tough. Minimum 20 minutes. I will come back and check later, right? Let's let it simmer for uh, under medium, uh, medium uh, low heat for about 20 minutes. Okay. The fuzhu has been simmering under medium low heat for the past uh, 25 minutes actually. Um, yeah, I think it's edible already. I just tested it a little bit just now. It's definitely edible. Good enough. And um, the mushroom has definitely soaked out all the very nice flavor for the braised broth. So I'm going to add in a little bit of salt, that's it. Maybe a bit of, uh, little bit of salt. Not too much because you already have the light soya sauce inside. And a few dashes of white pepper. All right, done. Very simple, isn't it? Just pay attention to the cooking time of your fuzhu, the one that you are using, all right? Off the fire, and I'm going to dish it out. Okay, so uh, here's my uh, braised fuzhu and uh, shiitake mushroom. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Um, if you don't want to put so much, if you want to reduce your sugar, the sugar added just now, just I added about one tablespoon, you can add one teaspoon also. Totally up to you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.